Hey guys, could trust out here with another PCR build. I'm looking at the Roland set, you can either go Shield Bash or Sweep Attack. And I think I chose Sweep Attack because I've never tried it before, and also I got this pretty cool weapon. Each time you use Sweep Attack that hits an enemy, it grants you 50% attack speed and reduces your damage by 10% for 8 seconds, stacking up to 5. This is your main attack. I'll be using Parthiron Defenders which reduces your damage for each enemy stunned within 25 yards. This is the combo for this build. Of course you get to use Denial. It's a must for this because you attack even faster. You're going to want the Endless Walk which is the Travelers and Corpus Rose set because you're going to be standing still just attacking mobs. Uh, I think the Goku Swiftness is great because it helps it's even more attack speed and bonus you get cooldowns per stack. I think Bane of Powerful might be ideal Depends on if you're if fighting a if you're fighting a boss, you obviously want this stricken. If you're doing great rifts, but for just rifts, powerful is great. And boom, trapped is it almost seems like you have to have this for every build. But and I picked the witching hour because attack speed and crit damage. Why not? Also, you need to use the zodiac. I'm pretty sure this is a must. Kanai powers the furnace. You're gonna want for the armor the cuirass. However, I don't have it in my cube, so I'm I'm just giving an example. I'm using this because it's what I got. Let's look at skills. I'm using Sweep Attack Trip Attack. Has a chance to stun them for two seconds. Reduces my damage. Awesome. I'm going to use Judgment, so yeah. Even more damage. I can create them even easier, okay? And everyone, everyone can't move. Fantastic. If you're taking heavy damage, you want to hit Iron Skin. If you get hit while it's happening, you get a burst of speed. Provoke. Hey, guys. Yes. Slow them down. Everyone come to me. Come to Butthead. Attack speed. You want attack speed? I love attack speed. It adds damage and it helps you live longer. Bonus. If you're about to get exploded on, you can hit this. More damage. Yes. Indestructible. Li yes. Awesome. Please last longer, Law. Always have your Law up. This is a must. You're using a two-hander and a shield. That's the skills. That's the passives. Let's watch this bad boy in action. Start with that. Hit, hit my things. Annihilate. Boom, boom, boom. Right off the bat. Decent damage. Oh look, here we got another one. Everything's up. Just hit it. Boom. Just it's it's really it's pretty good as you can see. I haven't even rolled any gear. Everything just melts. This is probably a search and destroy build where you just look for the champions and kill them. I try to do that in every rift just because killing rather than monsters is boring. The only downfall I see is it's kind of slow build. But I mean, I'm hitting for look at that two billion. That's not bad. Here, hit me so I can go faster. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> You're dead. Power, great. Boom. Headshot. This is the most powerful build so far I've used for the Crusader. It's just annihilating T7. People might complain it's kind of slow. It is very slow. You don't have the horse. I mean, I guess you could put the horse out there in instead of provoke. But provoke helps pull him closer and kind of brings the build together. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Feel it. Yeah. Woo. Exciting stuff, guys. If you enjoyed this, please leave a comment and a like. And subscribe if you want to see more Diablo 3 type content. Control style out. Hey, guys. Control style here with a Crusader to build. This time I'm using the Seeker of Light set. Blessing Hammer. Obviously that's your main attack. Sword, you take those damage for 8 seconds, so I guess you need to do it every 8 seconds. I'm using the uh, Critical. When you activate it, do more critical damage. You have to, a little timing goes in this build that I'm doing right now.